Hey, B, you ever uh, think that you could have been a model? No. Good. Anyways, this guy is a model. He was the first amputee to walk London Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week. This guy has walked all over the world. I'm still working on New York Fashion Week. He'll so. never get there. He'll <laughs> never get there. But check him out because he has. When I see a photo of myself as a model, I'm very proud. I'm always very proud. Jack Ayres has been challenging stereotypes as a catwalk model and cover star with a difference. I was the first amputee to walk uh, on New York Fashion Week catwalk. From that, it then went to Milan Fashion Week, um, London Fashion Week, that was really good. It's been a good career so far. The strangest thing for me was when I was on the front cover of Men's Health. That was literally my lifelong dream. Even as a kid at school, I was like, yeah, I'd love to be on that. By October 2015, I made it. Jack was born with two legs, but struggled with a degenerative condition called proximal femoral focal deficiency. PFFD is a congenital condition that I was born with in my right leg. Uh, it's basically a deficiency uh, in the femur, um, that the femur didn't develop properly. Uh, the muscle structure didn't develop properly either, the knee joint didn't develop properly and the hip joint didn't develop either. So yeah, it was a, um, a dead leg. Growing up with a disability, was, it massively affected my confidence, massively. I used to try and hide it anywhere I could. It was, just, it was awful, like, I had no inspiration, I was alone. Um, fashion was out the window, I used to wear like two pairs of trousers just to cover my leg, hoodie over my, you know, my head. The consultants, the doctors told me that I had to finish growing before they would even think about the measurements of amputating my leg. And then when I was 16, I electively had it amputated, I chose to have it amputated. Totally my choice, best decision I've ever made as well. After his amputation, Jack got into fitness and eventually started working as a personal trainer. Uh, I became a personal trainer uh, by chance really. I was a youth worker and I was put onto a course which is just exercise in the community and just really enjoyed it. Jack is very fit, he's fitter than me, definitely. Uh, we went swimming a couple of times just at uh, one of the leisure centres and I was amazed at how much fitter he was at swimming than me. Like, I thought I was pretty fit and yeah, he's very good. I, I find the job very rewarding. The success stories is what keeps me motivated to keep personal training. He's like stronger than most people in the gym when we're training, you don't, you don't think about it. Um, it's, it's not really a doesn't hold him back at all. Eventually I want to start focusing on just working with amputees because I think that I can really offer them something quite sort of special. Jack works for the charity Models of Diversity which campaigns for more variety in the fashion industry as well as supporting models in their careers. I'm sure there are occasions where I've been you know, singled out or treated slightly differently because of, because of the leg, because of the amputation or even you know, prior to the amputation. I'm that sort of guy, I'm quite blunt. <laughs> if I feel like I'm being singled out, I'll probably just tell you, I'd say. I'm very upfront about my leg as well, you know? Ask me whatever question you want, I don't, I don't mind. I never thought that I would ever be a model. Um, I didn't even think it was a, um, an opportunity for me. So I've set myself um, a couple of big goals for this year. I wanna get, I wanna get signed by a modeling agency. I would like to get a contract. Um, I think it's about time. I think the biggest thing that needs to change in the modeling industry to, to ensure there's more diversity is, is use more diverse models. Being a disabled model, I guess you do have to work harder. You do have to work harder than most other models because you've got a lot to prove. One of our closest friends is actually a woman named Mandy Leveld who is a runway coach for models. And one of the things that she teaches her students and clients is confidence. And you think about somebody like Jack who's missing his leg, you know, for him to have that fortitude to become a runway model, I think a lot of people could learn a lesson from someone like him. And over here in the comments, we'll actually link to a video we did with her on models walking blindfolded. So go check that out as well. <laughs> <laughs>